Everybody talk to God together. Psalms 91. Psalms 91 say, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the no nuisance pestilence. He shall cover thee with his wings, his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, mm. nor for the destructions mm. in <clears throat> nor for the destruction that waiteth in noonsday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousands at thy right hand, but it shall not come, shall not nigh, come nigh thee. Me. Only with thy eyes shall thy behold and see the rewards of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, yes. even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, <clears throat> lest thy dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon lions and adders, and the young lions and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. Yes. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. Yes. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. May the Lord continue to bless his word and the hearers of his word. Amen. Thank the Lord. Let the church say. I come to praise him. I come to praise his name. Come to praise him. I come to praise him. Praise him. I 
moments here today I'm in Luke the 15th chapter and the 16th and 17th verses and I won't even read that that verse as much as I will quote it it's a familiar verse we tried to deal with it last Sunday and we couldn't the Spirit of the Lord had got so high but the, the phrase in the 16th verse of Luke the 15th chapter and you need to read this entire story because it is uh, so powerful. It's the story of the prodigal son turning around and coming back home after he had left his roots and his father and his, his people. And he came home. Scripture says, and when he came to himself, that's what the scripture said. Hey, can you say those words to, with me? It said, when he came to himself, the Bible then says that he got up, he stopped what he was doing, he turned around, and he said, I will go back to my father's house, because that's where my strength is, that's where my power is, that's where my anointing is. 
I was using the theme from last week, bruised but not broken. This boy had left everything he had. He was the heir apparent, which means that everything was coming to him. How many times do we not realize what we have at our disposal? Even when things are not going like they should go, you have at your disposal, if you have the Lord, you have everything at your disposal. The Lord promised never to leave you nor forsake you, nor would he forget you, nor would he forget your labor of love, nor would he forget the work that you have done. But it's us who sometimes get so far away from God that we forget that he is the father and we are the children. Can you say amen, somebody? Amen. We forget that he is in charge of all things. And we leave. We leave his presence. We leave his power. We leave his anointing. We go and do whatever it is that we want to do. But this young man, after he had got so far from God and nothing worked, the scripture said, the text said, he came to himself. Look at somebody and tell him you need to come to yourself. That's what you need to do. It's not that you are not the child of God. It's not that you, uh, he's not your father and he's not in charge. It's all on us. We need to come to ourselves. When he came to himself, he realized I'll turn around and go back to where I came from. I came from good stock. I came from good stock. It's like little Christian this morning come from good stock, the brew bakers and the Sanderses. Good stock. But he had to stay in the will of the Lord because being in good stock is not enough to save you. Being in relationship with the Lord is more important than just having good stock. He said, when he came to himself, when I finally figured out that all of my strength comes from God, when I figured out that I have no power of my own, when I figured out that I have nothing going for me other than I'm just a human being, and without the Holy Ghost, I become nothing. When he came to himself, when you come to yourself, you realize that you have victory. And you have deliverance. Listen, I come by to tell you this morning, it's time for you to celebrate what you do have. And not bemoan what you don't have. We spend much of our time comparing ourselves with other people. And we wish we had what they have. But you have a lot going for you if you are a child of God. Can I get a witness out of somebody in here? You have, if God has been on your side, if God has given you health and strength and a right mind and a right spirit and a right heart, you have a lot going for you. You just got to come to yourself and realize that God is my God and I'm his child. He's my savior and my deliverer. He got to come to yourself. People don't want you to come to yourself because that puts you in direct competition with them. Satan, the enemy, don't want you to come to yourself. But when you come to yourself, when you realize who you are, when you realize what you have gone for you, you'll break out in a praise. You'll break out in a shout. You'll break out in a dance when you recognize that I'm not just another individual walking on the planet, but I have God on my side. I have God in my life. I have God as my guide and my leader. I just want you to put your hands in the air and close your eyes real tight and just open your mouth and praise the Lord. Come to yourself. Come on, somebody, open your mouth and just give the Lord praise. Tell him hallelujah. Shout hallelujah give him glory put your hands in the air don't be afraid don't be ashamed uh, that's coming to yourself when you finally come out here open your mouth and say thank you Jesus uh, when you come to yourself uh, realize that God's on your side uh, realize that I can't do nothing without the Lord uh, that without God I'm nothing when you
you come in yourself, things will change. Things will turn around. Things will become what they're supposed to be. That's all God asks you to do is to come to yourself. I don't know about you, but that's all I want. Money can't do it. Name, fortune cannot do it. Position cannot do it. The only thing that can do it for you is when you come to yourself and allow the Lord to help you and bless you. David, when he came to himself, he went off into a praise. The Bible said he praised God until he got out of all of his trouble. You having trouble, praise God, come to yourself and realize that God dwells in praise. Hey, that's why we do all the sounding and the hollering and the screaming and whatever we can do to make praise and, and noise to the Lord. Because praise is where God enters in and makes the difference in your life. It might be silent praise, but just as long as you praise the Lord. David said, I will praise him until the door is open. Now, when I come to myself, I realize I got to praise him until every door is open. I will praise him until the sun shines through a cloudy day. I will praise the Lord until my tears dry up. I will praise the Lord until probability becomes possibility. I'm wondering if I got any praises in here today. Somebody that really know God is a God that dwell in praise. Hey, come to yourself. Pull yourself together. Stop whining and crying complaining uh, and come to yourself turn around and go back to God and watch God make the difference in your life uh, clap your hand and say yes come to yourself come to yourself come to yourself I'm through here this morning but if you just point to somebody and tell them come to yourself Thank the Lord. Come to yourself. Stop living in a fantasy world. Stop living in a made up world. Come to yourself. Your problems, the problems that you're having, they are easily can be taken care of when you come to yourself and realize that only God can fix this. Nobody but the Lord can take care of this. Bow your heads all over this church here today. I don't know if somebody's here that need prayer, need some kind of help and substance, need a touch, need to be empowered, whatever your need is. God said, come to yourself. Come to yourself. This boy had everything, lost everything, but he came to himself and got it all back. Got even more than he had in the first place. The Lord would give it all back to you. Now, Lord, in this place, in this house, in this sanctuary this morning, reach your hands of mercy. Touch somebody. Help somebody. Empower somebody. Get them through the day. Get them through the afternoon. Get them through tomorrow. Get them through the week. Get them through next week. Let them come to themselves right now, Lord. Use them to your glory, your power, your anointing. And we praise you and we thank you. And we give your name glory forever and ever. Let the church say in Jesus' name. My soul says yes. 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 My Lord, my soul says yes. Yes, yes, right now is yes, 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 my Lord, right now is yes, oh yes, oh.